Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to introduce one UNESCO Global Geopark in Korea, the Cheongsong Global Geopark. This geopark was endorsed as a National Geopark of Korea in 2015 and UNESCO Global Geopark in 2017. Probably most of you have not heard of the place. It's even not very, very uh, popular in Korea either. But this uh, geopark is located in Cheongsong County, which is in the middle of Gyeongsangbuk-do province. And Gyeongsangbuk-do province is located in the southeastern part of, Kore of the Korean Peninsula. There is a small town called cheongsong -up in Cheongsong County. It is a very small and very peaceful town. You can see a clear stream running through the town with a beautiful a basalt cliff. Then the name Cheongsong was originated from Chinese characters, meaning green pine tree. Actually, you can see some beautiful pine trees uh, near the top of the hills uh, in Cheongsong County. But for Koreans, Cheongsong is very famous for delicious apple. Thus, you can see many apple trees and apple shops in the county. Of course, you can see pretty two apples in the downtown Cheongsong up day and night. There is an interesting history even Koreans are not aware of very well. Do you know the most, who the most respected man in Korean history is? It is the King Sejong, who made the fantastic phonetic Korean characters about 600 years ago. Not like other characters in the world, Korean characters were carefully planned and made for more than 10 years by this king. His first wife, the Queen Sohon, was from Cheongsong. A small but very quite pretty park is present along the stream in cheongsong up to commemorate her. You can see fancy scenery even at night. Another interesting story about Cheongsong is that Cheongsong provided the highest number of army raised in the cause of justice against Japanese invasion in Korean history. Now I would like to emphasize that you can also enjoy very diverse geologic, geological and geomorphological features in Cheongsong. Geologists estimate that there is still hot magma in deep on, underground because there are numerous mineral spring water springs in Cheongsong. For a long time, Cheongsong has been famous for stones with pretty patterns. Because the patterns show flower shapes, local residents call them flower stone. These rocks show various and fantastic shapes of flower-like patterns. You can actually visit the geological outcrop where those uh, flower stone was excavated. Geologists are not still certain how this flower shaped pattern are formed, and the research is on the way. Basically, there are, there are two types of rocks in Cheongsong. Both of them are Cretaceous in age, which is about, which formed about 100 million years ago. One type is a tough deposit, which was formed by volcanic eruption followed by deposition of volcanic ash. Even though not much, you can also see basalt at the foot of the uh, Zhuang Mountain, Zhuangzan, and uh, those basalt are also formed by lava flows by volcanic eruption, but that's not too much. Another is the Cretaceous sedimentary rocks deposited in terrestrial environment. Sometimes you can see those rocks in the mountains, meaning that eastern part of the Korean Peninsula, including the Cheongsong area, has been uplifted for a long time. Stream have been downcutting the Cheongsong area. As a result, you can see some nice cliffs exposed along the stream because cliff-forming sandstone is very, very resistant to fluvial erosion. 
on one of these cliffs, there is a geosite of the Cheongsong Global Geopark called Banghojong. The Banghojong is the name of a small but very good looking house on the cliff. There is a beautiful story about this small house. In 1619, Mr. Jun Do Jo in Joseon Dynasty built this house to record and miss his mother after her death. It was Korean tradition at that time to take care of parents' grave after their death for three years. After all, Mr. Jo's wonderful behavior and the construction of Bang Ho Jong are thanks to sequential geological process of deposition and formation of sedimentary rocks and uplift of the area followed by the stream erosion making this cliff. Surprisingly enough, you can find the dinosaur footprints on the surface of these sedimentary rocks. If you visit the Shinsongni area of the geopark, you can find various kinds of dinosaur footprints, even though the slope is very st steep. Here, you can find about 500 footprints, dinosaur footprints, including meat-eating dinosaurs and plant-eating dinosaurs. How can you tell meat-eating dinosaurs' footprints from plant-eating ones? We can easily recognize, based on the shape of the footprints, meat-eating dinosaurs' footprints show generally several digitated uh, toes with very sharp claws, whereas toes of plant-eating dinosaurs are round and smooth because they don't need to catch other animals. There are three trackways as long as about 300 meters made by plant-eating dinosaurs. Also, nine footprints of meat-eating dinosaurs were found here. Because of two geosites, we can name, well, actually, I, I named it, but uh, we can name the Cheongsong area, the White Cheongsong. One side is called Baksoktan, made by the series of portholes displaying a beautiful scenery. Bak means white in Korean. General, generally, porthole is a natural underground circular cavity formed on the surface of any rocks by stream erosion. The diameter of portholes can vary, range from a few centimeters to a few meters. Usually, one, you can see one porthole on the stream bed, but sometimes several portals can be found also. If several portals merge together, it produces very irregular uh, forms of stream floor. And I think Baksok Tan belongs to this case. Joseon Dynasty, the last dynasty in Korean history from late 14th to early 20th century, is very famous for white porcelain. The Cheongsong white porcelain is among one of them. Maybe you wouldn't know, you wouldn't imagine this, but this white Cheongsong porcelain is a geological masterpiece. You may have heard that the material for porcelain is called kaolin. The name was originated from one place in China called kaolin. But geologists named this mineral kaolinite, which is one of the most common clay minerals. There can be several origins for the formation of clay minerals, but kaolinite is known as a chemical weathering product, which is usually formed on the very hot and humid climate. Was the material for Cheongsong porcelain a product of severe chemical weathering? No. This material was formed by very special geological process. During the Cretaceous of the Mesozoic period, thick tuff was formed and deposited by volcanic eruption. Subsequent volcanic activities took place 
and magma dikes intruded in, into the tuff deposit. The surrounding tuff near the dike produced a very special mineral called tosudite. Through the reaction of hot water caused by hot magma with surrounding tuff. Tosudite is a very rare mineral which occurs only less than 10 places in the world. Obviously, the white color of tosudite played a very critical role for the production of white porcelain of high quality. There is a geosite called Orum Gol in Cheongsong Geopark. Orum means ice and Gol means valley. Thus, Orum Gol means icy cold valley. Geologically, this is a tailless deposit. Rock debris fell down from the top, and there is a huge pile of rocks from uh, the top to the foot of the, of the hill. And the cold air was trapped within those uh, uh, blocks and is seeping through the bottom or throughout the year. So you can actually feel very cold air uh, even in summer. I think this is a perfect uh, picnic place for, uh, uh, during hot summer. In the winter, a big event, the Ice Climbing World Cup is organized by the Songsong County. And you can enjoy people climb, climbing up the vertical ice slope narrow here. There is an artificial lake, Jusanji, which is an interesting geosite. The lake was constructed during the Joseon Dynasty. Even though this is not a natural lake, this lake has a quite interesting geological implications. Joseon Dynasty had been suffering from a globally bad cl climate called Little Ice Age. Thus, various methods were probably carried out to mitigate and to overcome. Another interesting geological point of this lake is that the location, location of the dam. The dam for the reservoir was built on the bedrock called Crystalline Tuff. Because Crystalline Tuff was very tightly welded texture of minerals, the rock has a very low permeability. Permeability means the capacity of water going through the rock, which means that the dam was built here and the water cannot escape because it was underlain by welded tough deposit. So I can say that the Korean people living at the time had a quite good geological sense. You heard that there are many interesting geological features in Cheongsong Global Geopark. But I think above all, Juangsan is the most notable site. Juang is the name of the mountain, and San means mountain in Korean. This mountain is also designated as a national park of Korea. And undoubtedly, this mountain shows fantastic scenery and significant geological features. Juangsan shows a very quite distinctive landform compared to other mountains we commonly see. It appears that several large rock pillars merge together or individual columns stand up alone separately. Not like any other V-shaped valleys in many mountains, Juangsan has a very narrow and deep gorges, thus showing steep-sided walls or near vertical walls along the valleys. How could Juangsan have such a special landform? It is because of this special geological history which have occurred here. Not like most mountains in the world, as well as in Korea, Juangsan is made up of a tuff, a rock composed of volcanic ash from volcanic eruption. During volcanic eruption, volcanic ash either falls down from the air or transported down along the slope. Based on the investigation by geologists, the Juangsan tuff was mostly deposited uh, by transportation on the slope. It is notable 
that volcanic ash is a product which is formed by very rapid cooling, re even rather than uh, lava, volcanic lava. Because it cools down so rapidly, volcanic ash tends to contain large amount of glass. Glass, volcanic, we call it volcanic glass. Volcanic glass is not a mineral because it does not have a regular atomic arrangement because of its fast cooling. Therefore, the tough which high contents of volcanic glass can be more easily eroded than other normal rocks. Also, volcanic glass is very vulnerable to chemical weathering. Now, let me summarize how Zhuangshan has evolved into this special type of the landform. About 70 million years ago, during the Cretaceous of the Mesozoic period, vast amount of volcanic ash was deposited here, and shortly after, it became a rock, tough. During rapid cooling, to become a rock, numerous vertical joints were made, and after that, the rain wet water penetrated into the vertical joints, the weak parts of the rock, and continuously flow down through the dam for erosion. Obviously, continuous movement of rainwater through the joints will enlarge the vertical values of, by rapid downcutting action. What do you think happened when the joint became wider? Obviously, the pillars between joints will fall down. Eventually, a single pillar may be left if all the other pillars around, around that fell down already. So it's just a single pillar can be left. There are a number of examples you can find this kind of single pillar in Zhuangshan. I'm very happy to tell you that Zhuangshan provides a trail path for, handicapped, for the handicapped. It is, of course, a good consideration by Korean National Park Authority, but wide enough valleys due to easily erodible tuff provide good geological conditions for this facility. Today, I introduced several geosites of the UNESCO Cheongsong Global Geopark. Cheongsong is a very small county, including small towns. But when you visit there, I'm sure that you will be very surprised and very happy and very excited from wonderful nature with cultural diversity. Thank you very much.